हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू दी पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लेक्चर सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी ए बेजियर कर्व ड्राइंग प्रोग्राम यूजिंग द मैट्रिक्स मेथड फॉर क्यूबिंग बेजियर कर्व फ्रॉम फोर कंट्रोल पॉइंट्स सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन I have a text editor open in which I have created a Python program, and this program is not using any external libraries or modules for generation of the curve. Even though I am using the NumPy module, and for plotting purpose, I am using Matplotlib module. the program is accepting or in fact running with four control points so four control points will have each x comma y coordinates which will be saved in a separate arrays x and y and then processing the bezier curve formulation we are going to find convex curve and as well as the curve coordinates and both both of these things we will be plotting on the output screen so let's begin with the program as you can see i have imported the numpy as np and for plotting purpose i have imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt The program is uh, is going to work with four control points. So four control points I have stored separately in two arrays, respectively x one array and y second array. So I am using x equal to np dot array, and then giving the coordinates. These are all x coordinates of my four control points. and then subsequently y equal to np dot array and all the y coordinates of my four control points so likewise i have x as the array for x coordinates of four control points and y array for y coordinates of the four control points now we are going to solve this or in fact the program is built with the help of the matrix equation for solving the cubic bezier curve problem so here in matrix 1 i am inputting the matrix which is a 4 by 4 matrix and it consists of the coefficients of the blending function so cubic bezier curve has four blending functions and if we are converting the equations of blending function into subsequent matrix equations then this is the l matrix capital l matrix that we get which we call as the blending function coefficient matrix so this i am directly declaring and this matrix is fixed for all cubic bezier uh, curve problems so this will vary if the bezier curve is of quadratic the equation is going to be 3 by 3 for cubic it is 4 by 4 and for higher orders it is going to be the Number of order, okay, that is n plus one. So that would be the total order of this matrix. So right now it is cubic base here. So I have n equal to three. So the matrix order is n plus one by n plus one. That is four by four. So this is minus one three minus three one is the first row of my matrix. Then three minus six three zero second row, minus three three zero zero third row, one zero 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 is the fourth row. now i am declaring a variable r for the parameter so the r is going to vary between 0 to 1 so i am declaring r as 0 initially then if i am declaring a matrix which is right now an empty matrix consists of the np dot np command okay so i am creating the matrix with the help of np dot np command So zero comma four, zero comma four, zero is for the uh, 
number of rows and 4 is for the number of columns. Now we all know that in Python it will begin from the 0 and it will go till the limit that we write over here, okay, minus 1. So it is eventually going to create 0, 1, 2, 3. So it is going to create uh, 1 by 4 matrix. The matrix I am creating for storing the values of R cube, R square, R and 1 respectively. And next upon, I am declaring the parameter uh, inside it. So, I am taking yy is equal to np dot array. I am taking pow r comma 3. So, pow is a function in uh, python which is a ready function which we can directly use. So, pow it accepts two arguments. First is a base variable, comma. Second is a power of that variable. So, if I write pow r comma 3, that means r cube. Then pow r comma 2, that means r square and so on. So, I am creating the r cube r square r1 matrix in this yy. Then I am writing a for loop to create a 10 by 4 matrix having total 10 points between r equal to 0 to r equal to 1. So, how I am declaring for i in range 0, 11. Again, 11 will not be included. So, 0 to 10 this, this loop will run. Matrix 2. I am using a command which is np.vstack. Now, what it does is, okay, it stacks the matrix, okay, it stacks the row matrix right on top of the already created matrix. So, for that we have already created matrix 2 that is mat2 as an empty matrix and I am going to stack it with its own name. So, mat2 comma the second the next row that, that I am giving is power of r cube that is r cube comma r square comma r comma 1. So, these are the four elements with which the matrix will always be keep on replacing or in fact the rows will get added using the vstack command and after every row that has been added I am changing the value of r to r equal to r plus 0.1. So, what I am doing initially declaring, initially declare, uh, see I have taken variable i in for loop so that I can run this loop 10 times and every time the loop is running Okay, I am declared, I am changing the value of r by 0 0.1 and initially I had declared value of r as 0. So, first value is going to be 0, second value is going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and so on. Okay, up to 1. So, from 0 to 1, it is going to take 0 0.1 as intervals and the loop will run 10 times. And I am going to print the values of this matrix. Now, the next step is, see I have got my x coordinate matrix, y coordinate matrix, I have got the blending function coefficient matrix. Now I have also created the r cube, r square, r and 1 matrix. Now I just have to multiply them sequentially. <coughs> so I will first start up with r is equal to np dot dot. So I will first multiply the blending function coefficient and the mat. Two, that is r cube r square r1. Remember this order I cannot change because mat2 is basically 10 by 4 so 10 row 4 columns and mat1 is 4 by 4. So I will get here again 10 by 4 and then I am finding the second multiplication is resistance or the result x and result y matrix. So it is np dot dot the r which we have just found out multiplied by np dot transpose of x. So, x was the uh, row matrix we had initially declared. Now, in order to find, in order to multiply these two, I have to convert this single row matrix into single column matrix. So, that is why I am using np dot transpose x and subsequently result y is np dot transpose y. So, when I do this, okay, I will be having my final coordinate for the Bezier curve. So, I can plot them. So, I will just print the values. Okay. So, result x, result y, end equal to comma. 
so what what it does is separately it will bring both the values one after the other okay in new line and then i am going to plot so while plotting the behavior curve i know that i have to also plot the convex hull within which the entire curve is placed so convex hull i will also be plotting convex hull can be directly plotted by uh, plt dot plot command and between x comma y because x is my uh, row array single row array y is single row array so it is able to take their individual coordinates and join them with the help of line in plot command and i have given the color as green but what it doesn't do is it doesn't join back the last point to the first point so that i am manually again writing a separate plot command wherein i am specifying the x coordinates comma y coordinates of the first and last point so it is x coordinate of the first and last point is 20 and 150 and y coordinate of the first and last point is 20 and 30 again i am keeping the color same and also drawing the grid and finally i am plotting the curve which has uh, 10 by 4 okay 10 uh, rows and four columns so that i am plotting which is stored in result x result y res x res y and finally plt dot show is going to display the entire graph on the output screen now we will run this using the terminal in ubuntu so i have here terminal window with me i'm already present in my parent directory where this program is stored i will run this using python3 space the name of the file along with its extension and just press enter now as you can see it draws in this bezier curve plot along with the points first we look at the points so as i said the 10.4 these are the points that it identifies at every iteration that we have just written a for loop for it is going max to print max to when this is what is printing here and then we are printing rex comma rey so this is rex comma rey and the graph looks like this so the color in green is the convex hull and very well situated inside the convex hull is the bezier curve okay if you change the points okay if you change the input points the convex hull will change and appropriately the curve will also change so if let's say this point we shift from say 80 to or in fact for y coordinate it is 80 if we change it to 100 okay it will change the output accordingly so let us just try that so this y coordinate if i change to 100 save the program come back to the terminal i'll just press the up key and press enter and as you can see the convex hull changed and subsequently the shape of the bezier curve also changed accordingly so trying to control the shape of the curve with the help of control points is what the main uh, property of bezier curve it it somewhat allows a control local control i, I would not say entirely local control but it somewhat allows the, the control Uh, by by controlling the position of control points and this is an approximate uh, way of drawing the curve so i hope this is understood and so we we'll see you next time with more such interesting content thank you so much